thing you have to say. A six month exhaustive manhunt leading to this moment Karina Vetrano's family had prayed for. 20 year old Chanel Lewis in handcuffs now charged with the 30 year old's murder. Vitrano's parents emotional after they left court Sunday where they saw their daughter's alleged killer for the first time. Police say Lewis was tracked down late last week at his home in East New York, Brooklyn, that he shares with his mother and sister. It's where investigators say the unemployed man confessed to detectives that he raped and then strangled Vitrano, her body found by her father in the grassy parkland less than a mile from her home. They say Lewis also voluntarily gave a DNA sample, which was a match. Karina helped us identify. This person. She had the DNA in her, under her nails. She had touched DNA on her, on her back, and there was more DNA on the cell phone. But Lewis's father paints a much different picture of his son. Wonderful, and he's great. Police confirm Lewis had no criminal history but had three summonses. They say back in May, three months before Vetrano's death, a Howard Beach resident called 911 about Lewis acting suspiciously in the area. Investigators last week circled back to that report identifying Lewis as a possible. Suspect, but Lewis's father refuses to believe his son is guilty. Whatever I heard, he wouldn't have done it. Now, this morning, Lewis is charged with second degree murder. He is being held without bail. His next court appearance scheduled for February 21st. Reporting live this morning from Howard Beach, Queens, Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News. Janelle.